morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you through this day. And we have been meditating on the passage found in the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2 verse 52 which says, And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with men. Now, how do we see in Jesus an ideal human being? As God intended for man to be when he first created Adam and Eve. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve did not follow the principles and uh, the laws that God the Creator Himself has given them to obey. And yet, those of us who have a desire to grow not only physically and mentally, but also spiritually, and find favor both with God and with men, that is our meditation. Now, I would like to mention at least two uh, principles, two disciplines that if you pursue, you will be found in favor with God and with man. The first of these two dis uh, disciplines is of a seeking wisdom the discipline of seeking wisdom. The Bible says in Proverbs, through the wisdom God gave to Solomon, in the words of Solomon inspired by the Holy Spirit, my son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. This is a passage. And uh, here is wise uh, counsel. For those who seek to find favor both with God and with man. Here the father instructs the son the secret of good life. It all begins with the, the pursuit of wisdom. And true wisdom can only be found in the fear of the Lord. As Solomon himself says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so where there is, because God is the very source and fountain of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. So without fearing him and without uh, being connected with this God, we cannot find, we will not be able to find true wisdom. It says, in other words, if you read that passage carefully one more time, you will find what it says is you internalize God's love and faithfulness. Let it become uh, uh, within, me, within you, these wonderful qualities. This happens by means of studying God's word. Because the word of God and the commandments of God, it, it, uh, uh, David says, it will make the foolish wise if we are diligent in reading and studying God's word. And Jesus Christ was always focused on his heavenly father's intentions for him. He lived in perfect obedience to God. Now, what is wisdom? 
wisdom is the quality of being wise the power of judging rightly and following the soundest course of action based on knowledge and experience and understanding why do one should give attention to uh, especially when young to his or her education and career he or she should give diligence to gain knowledge of god and this this desire can be lost in our pursuit of just knowledge and gain degrees and uh, show to the world that you are a big man who knows everything a good understanding of god at the same time please listen to this a good understanding of god and his teachings are far more valuable than an education at the finest academic institutions because you will not find in the academic institutions any course of uh, knowing god and understanding god's ways while that alone is the source of wisdom and always remember that god has created you to be such a perfect ideal man and when adam and eve disobeyed god in the garden of eden they lost it all but a man can regain them how being connected with jesus christ who lived as an ideal man as god intended man to be it is possible by his grace it is possible by his holy spirit and it is possible for us to gain these and ultimately accepted by god almighty himself so i pray that god will bless you today that you will seek as you try to fulfill your duties and your jobs or whatever learn to walk with god and learn to experience his presence and be connected with god who is the very source and fountain of wisdom and knowledge and understanding and god bless you this purpose you need the holy spirit once so lord i pray that the spirit of god will come and fill those who are listening to this these meditations that today they may experience something wonderful marvelous at the end of the day enabling them to to say it was good that i sought the lord and god bless you today this is a great day and live to glorify god amen